Uh, unfortunately, uh, it differs from country to country. As you know, I'm representing Central America, and uh, it has reached a certain advance, I will say a middle advance, um, in Costa Rica as far as application of uh, implementation of uh, techniques and concepts and also uh, delivering the message to the uh, farmers. But uh, in the other four countries, such as Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua, unfortunately, very little has been done. And uh, we have the challenge to uh, bring us to all the same level uh, for the other four countries, which are lying behind. Well, my experience is that, for instance, if we take the same examples, Costa Rica and the C4 countries. Costa Rica has already a political and economical stability. So that allows time for the policymakers and for their society as a whole to think in other issues that are very important for the country, such as the environment. And uh, a very important part of the, of the environment is the soil and water. And they certainly are taking good care of their natural resources, uh, flora, fauna, soils, water. Meanwhile, on the other C4 countries, politics is the main, uh, is the main issue. They are all entangled in political fights, political struggles, uh, and of course, these uh, very important issues that really will impact not only us, but generations to come, actually are not paying any attention to them because they're only paying attention to the immediate needs with actually are poly political, politically oriented, unfortunately. Well, um, in order to sustain, uh, to, to have sustainable soil management, you really have to have a very fairly deep knowledge of soils, of what soils mean, and what it mean, and what soil means for uh, uh, food production, for self uh, sustainability, for being uh, self-sustained as far as food. Um, not to depend on, uh, on uh, food from other countries, um, but that, that requires a good, uh, deep uh, scientific knowledge, but the key thing is how to translate that scientific knowledge to practical applications all the way to the small farmer level. So it's a whole scale, which actually in Honduras, we have approached that problem. We simply have ignored the government because the government, unfortunately, and I will use the case and I can be cited, um, uh, no problem about that because it's, it's the truth. They shut down all institutions or any things that had to do with uh, soils. So practically, soils are being ignored as part of the uh, of the uh, uh, main resources upon the country has to not only survive, but to prevail. And, and, and then what we have done is that uh, institutions like uh, our university, El Zamorano, the Association of uh, Agronomists and uh, Soil Scientists and, and private enterprises, private companies, have undertaken that, uh, that issue upon their shoulders without any government support. There are two components, two very important components. One component is the government that overlooks all over the people. Whether you are involved in agriculture or not, let's say that one is a physician or a lawyer or just works in a store, that person is directly affected 
but whatever good or bad happens in the soil is going to benefit if we improve the soil capabilities and is going to really suffer the consequences by having higher food prices and food shortages if we do uh, uh, bad practices in the soil. So that has to be seen by the government. The government has to take care of the whole society as, you know, the society as a whole. In the, uh, on the other hand, the, all, of, all of us involved in agriculture, universities, private enterprises, companies, uh, producers, we is not only impacting us as persons, as the other group of society, but also is impacting our direct economy. As the soil gets degraded, our incomes becomes lower. And the other thing is that, let me put it this way, if we, would like, if we want to survive and to prevail as a human race, uh, we have to look at the soil issue exactly the same way as we look at the ozone layer. No ozone layer, no life in Earth, no soils, no life in Earth, no water, no life in Earth. So that's, that's, that's the, the, the whole concept behind it.